Why do people go to movies? For emotions, of course. They want to escape into another world for a couple of hours. They want to think about the movie, not about their everyday life. But movies are not just entertainment. There is room for spiritual growth, cultural enrichment, and intellectual progress. Astana International Short Film Festival is a vivid example of that. This is very important if we want the audience to really attend big premieres of auteur Kazakh films in the nearest future. We need to communicate with them every day through festivals, lectures, open and closed screenings. It's important to show them that an alternative exists and it appears people are ready for this alternative. The audience demonstrates interest. They are ready to buy a ticket to a film festival instead of a Marvel movie and spend those two hours discovering completely different ideas about the nature of filmmaking altogether. Film festivals are an ideal platform for educational programs, workshops and discussions. Both audience and filmmakers can expand their knowledge of documentary and fiction short films, learn more about different techniques and genres, and discuss current social and cultural issues raised by the films. It prompts open, friendly networking, helping to find like-minded people. But it also provides a picture of the country's film industry current state. In Kazakhstan's film industry, commercial and non-commercial segments seem to be merging gradually. Big producers who invested only in feature films now realize that auteur cinema also acquired a certain niche and has good prospects. Producers enter this niche in hopes of making these prospects rosier for themselves. We understand that nowadays auteur cinematography has more financial support, which was not the case before. It always stems from short film because it is there that auteur cinematography hones its techniques. Short film provides a great environment for experiments. Creative filmmakers can try themselves, look for their unique style and so on. That's why the producers became interested. They started to look at the short film as a source with great prospects. And it's not just about original vision and inspirational messages. Short film has great creative potential which producers recognize. They are aware that it has the potential to become a full-length movie that could one day represent our nation internationally and they would want to be part of that great future. The Astana International Short Film Festival brought together filmmakers from Turkic countries, both debutants and renowned directors, film critics, experts and most importantly, the audience. You know, I've been watching the audience during these days of screenings. I observed everyone. In addition to those regulars who are more likely to attend such unconventional cinematic events, I've discovered others. People who came for the first time, who had been introduced to alternative cinema world exclusively through this festival. They didn't know anything about film lectures, nor about the film clubs that exist in the capitals. They didn't know anything about the venues that sometimes screen foreign and Kazakh auteur films and organize discussions. Suddenly, they find themselves here and discover this wonderful new world. And I am pleased that this three-day festival has united everyone and created a fusion of different voices. It has evolved into a place of convergence of experienced filmmakers, cinematography students and people who just enjoy watching movies and discover something new for themselves. Cinema also has its own laws, development stages and ways of formation. The role of film festivals is to discover fresh talent, to pose thought-provoking questions to society and to reflect reality with such a razor's edge that it pierces the most intense feelings and piques curiosity about the issue. 
In fact, the audience will never see short films, foreign films, works of no-name young directors in official theater releases. But here, for three days, they get to experience it all. Future documentary films, animated films, some works at the intersection of forms and genres, experimental pieces. People like these things. They enjoy immersing into simple yet very deep worlds that contain colossal depth. Such kind of events serve as a testing ground where we get to witness future talents who will represent our country on the international arena tomorrow. But cinema always stems out of short film, and short film is usually a great platform for experiments. How exactly they will enter the world of big cinema is yet to be seen. For now, we can just enjoy watching them. Twenty twenty three's best live action film is Happy Independence Day, a drama with satirical elements by young director Camila Sarantran. Film production and post production process happened within just ten days. I'm pleased to realize that once this movie was just an idea, an idea of two friends who dreamed of making a movie. Neither Camilla nor I have any educational background in filmmaking. We just had a dream and tried to make it come true. And now our work has earned the award of the best live action film. Thank you so much. <laughs> the best documentary award went to a movie 64 Reasons Why Everything Went Wrong, directed by Dilnas Abraimova. To be honest, it was a difficult process because the movie theme is quite complex, psychological. It took a long time to connect with the character because there was violence involved. We're talking about a mother-daughter relationship, and you must be extremely careful. The fact that it was my friend was the main difficulty not the filming process itself or establishing a connection with the character. I think the audience really liked the movie. I invested my own money into the movie production. It was a final thesis project at the university. I worked alone with my characters, a mother and a daughter, and they helped me with everything. We lived and ate together, practically becoming a family. It was a great experience for me. I'm glad that this movie is my directorial debut. At such events, young talents receive support, while recognized masters get constructive criticism, connections, ideas, and inspiration. I think this is a great opportunity, not only for beginners, but also for experienced directors who have been creating movies for quite some time, but can't find either the right environment for the development or connections. First of all, it was a great platform for honest networking. Many people got to know each other, and a lot of fresh views were created and exchanged. For the last few years, there were so many events in the world that prevented us from holding such festivals in our capital and around Kazakhstan in general. So, I am very delighted to hear the feedback from many professionals, teachers who are just happy to attend and enjoy the fresh cinema. The fact that international filmmakers showed a strong degree of coherence in the subjects of their films during the festival is particularly intriguing. This creative unanimity surprised the jury members and became a real discovery. There are amazing directors from Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Saka Republic who really create something authentic within the short film. It will be very interesting to witness their growth in fact, I want to start following their professional journey right now because they demonstrate unique views. They do have common mistakes and share the same triumphs. 
but I see the spirit of originality and I'm sure it can develop into something more. It's very interesting to me as a film critic to watch these directors in the future. Documentary and live-action short film festivals are important in the development and promotion of these genres, contributing to diversity and innovation in the film industry. Astana International Short Film Festival demonstrated not only new visual and stylistic solutions, it also revealed what notions are genuinely prevalent right now and what's on young people's minds. Some works feel like something is bursting out from inside a person, some kind of dream to make sense of his being in this world. It's new romanticism. I like the experiments on form in the documentary films. The filmmakers realized that few people watch documentary, so they try to entice the viewer to watch it. That's why we held special screenings of already recognized works, so that festival guests and participants had an opportunity to watch the works of professionals and become inspired. Perhaps they could improve their skills or learn something new. For example, how to work on the theme or visuals. These music videos and art videos were also amazing. I'm glad about how bold and daring they've turned out. It was a colorful program indeed. It makes sense for the film festival to place such emphasis on young talent since they represent a generation's voice and bring attention to societal issues. Меня как киноведа, конечно же, волнует, что о чем вообще думает наше молодое поколение, потому что мне кажется, as a film historian, I'm concerned about what our younger generation is thinking because they represent our future. I have a sense that these guys are changing the prism on the characters and their genuineness. We see a fractured reality of what is happening all around us. Since these are young people, they convey the feelings of the young. We see their reactions, their personal experiences and reflections on these altered events that are happening around here at the moment. There are strong themes of family, communication with adults, generational fracture. It concerns the conflict of poverty and wealth. It also concerns the world of big cities and small towns and remote villages. It's an interesting phenomenon that allows us to see the reaction of these young people to what is happening from their perspective. It's a great creative support when filmmakers have an independent platform to express themselves and exchange experience. Also, it often serves as a window to the profession for novice filmmakers an opportunity to gain recognition. We give young, daring filmmakers the opportunity to compete with professionals. They may even appear to be better since it's important to fill the time to keep up with the rhythm that life creates. If the picture resonates with us and the filmmaker is young, I don't see why he or she can't win. We try to be honest and objective. The only thing is that we're not a political festival, there's no political agenda and nobody makes political statements. We support art, but the kind of art that speaks to society. The amount of movie content has increased significantly with the growth of technological opportunities in the world in general and in cinema in particular. Still, quality remains to be the most important thing. Just recently, there was a National Film Award of Asian Cinematography. Three works from Kazakhstan were among 90 other participants. All three won prizes. And the point is not that they became victorious, although it's very cool and honorable. The main point is that these are the directorial debuts of young professionals. These are full-length debut films. It's as if these guys just came and said, here we are, and we know what to do. This is the kind of cinema that is interesting to the world.